What's the first thing you do when you're trying to figure out what pine you're looking at? Number of How many do we have? Did you already do that while I was down there? Two. They are twos. What else has two that's native? Virginia pine. Virginia pine. Insert organ horror music. <laughs> okay. So now you have two with two. So here's the difference. Here's, here's table mountain pine. And here's Virginia pine. I walked down there. There's one Virginia pine right there. And I went down there and got Virginia pine. Longer and stouter. Two things. They're sort of chunkier, thicker, and longer. Table Mountain. Table Mountain. Not to say they can't overlap. They can. You've got to do like a collective hole again. Are these longer? And you can get to where... I want you to look up at this one and kind of get a feel for what they look like up in the air. Because that's how you're often going to be looking at them. <laughs> they should get that feel. And we'll stop and look up at a Virginia pine. Virginia pine's really, really wispy. In fact, when I was down there underneath that one, I was like, is this alive? Because from back here, you can hardly even see any needles. They're really small, okay? So it's, it's a good bit bigger, and they're thicker, coarser looking. Then also, as you look up there, Brian, you're in probably the best spot. Look out on the limbs. You can see them everywhere. you got to move your head around. Out on the limbs, what do you notice on the limbs? They're pretty obvious. Lots of pine cones. Lots of pine cones and big pine cones. They tend to grow like this in clumps. And this one broke off. So literally, this was like this. Was like, this. like some medieval club, right? <laughs> Yeah, we tend this to be world. Okay. You can have even more than three. You could have four in a spot. but And they tend to stay on the limbs. That's another reason why you can see them. They'll stay on a limb. There's probably cones up there that might be 15 years old back on the limbs until the limb breaks off. And then when the limb breaks off, the cones stay on them. And another thing about them is you'll notice that a lot of them, or most of them, are closed. They stay closed. You've probably noticed the obvious big fish hooks on them too, okay? and they're kind of the heftiness to them. They stay closed, and that's a term called a serotonous cone. Serotony, serotonous. That means they open with heat. Hmm. So what do you think happens? Forest fire. When I started coming out here in 1981, that's 33 years ago, okay? I, I mean, I remember it. There weren't any stems on the ground like this. These are all dead Table Mountain pines. In the absence of a fire, they're all going to die at like age 80, something like that. And you're going to have white oaks, <coughs> maples, hickories replacing it. What needed to happen, or what naturally, quote, would happen, is a fire would have come through here, burned it all up, burned these up too. It would take more because they have thick bark. But even if it burned them up, then all the cones open, and all the seeds rain down on a perfect seed bed. And so in some places in the Appalachians, they're, they're letting fires burn. They're doing prescribed burns, meaning, hey, this hasn't burned for a while. We need to light it. They prescribed it to get Table Mountain Pine back. Because in the absence of fire, it could literally become an endangered species. I mean, it's not. When you come back here in 30 years, I you might walk around out here and find one like remaining big one that lived longer than normal. If somebody wanted, if you took this and just put it in your oven at like, uh, set it at like 120, not real high, it would open up. And then you hit it like that, all these seeds would just rain out on it. If anybody wants it, I'll throw it. <laughs> so they, they will pop right open. Okay, so now one last thing, and that's the bark. The bark kind of gets these plates, but they stay rather scaly. And what I mean by that is like you can flake a lot off. There's a couple other trees I could have gone to, but I've been doing that for years, and it's like they're like flat now. <laughs> You're going to learn pitch pine next week, and it's very flat plate. Like you could, 
you could put a piece of paper on there and write on it pretty well. This is all bumpy and scaly on top of these sort of rectangular plates.